What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play Super Mario 64 Render 96 on your Steam Deck. Now depending on how you compile it, if it is for Windows you will get an EXE and you'll have to launch that with Proton. If you compile the native Linux version then that will run without Proton and the power draw will be lower. Next we're going to be on the Steam Deck so this is on desktop mode and I've got the Dolphin file browser. Here's the game already downloaded, it's in my Warpinator folder as I've transferred it from my PC to the Steam Deck. If you've downloaded it directly, it will be in your Downloads folder. Anyway, right click, Extract, then go to Extract 2, and then locate the folder where you want to extract it to. So in my case, I have a folder called Games, so I'm just going to go there and extract it. So it should just take less than a minute to extract, I'm just going to shorten the video here. So once that finishes you will get a notification, click on open containing folder and you will see the Super Mario 64 folder is there. So double click on the folder and you will see the executable file here, it's got a funky file name, don't worry about that. So right click onto it, go to properties, permissions tab and check the box where it says is executable and click on OK. So I had to do this or I wouldn't launch. I've also included a folder called artwork and you can use the artwork here to customize the uh, look. Okay so now we're going to go to the steam icon and right click and go to library. Then on the bottom left click on add a game, add a non steam game, click on browse and we're going to have to go to the uh, Super Mario 64 directory. Okay, so it's probably not going to show here, so you need to click on the drop down here and select all files and then select the uh, executable and click on open and you'll see there is a checkbox here that the game is selected, then add it in. So once you have done that, go over to the search box and type in SM64. Here it is. So click on here and I'm going to launch it the first time. So this is needed so it will show up as one of the recently played games and you'll see why in a bit. So the first time round it does take a good few seconds for it to load and I'll show you how to speed that up later on in the video. Okay so as you can see it's working fine so I'm just gonna alt tab and exit the game. Okay so I'm gonna stop it here. Then right click on this uh, area here and we're going to set a custom artwork. So we're going to go back to the folder with the artwork. So I've renamed this bit here banner so you know what it is. So banner and as you can see the artwork is there. Next right click again set custom logo and then select logo. And as you can see you've got that nice little logo here and again I'll show you where that shows up later on in the video. Next we're going to go to library then home and here you can see Super Mario 64 because I launched it before it is under recent games. Again we're going to right click and go to manage then set custom artwork. So I've named it recents. And as you can see, so far, so good. Now we're going to go to uh, Properties. And we're going to give it the a small icon. So going back into the folder. And selecting Icon. And while we're here, we're going to get rid of that funky file name. And I'm going to call it Super Mario 64. Then click on Close. Then the last bit is to add it to favorites so we can give it a good cover. So we're going to go into the collections and it's going to be in favorites now. So again, right click, manage, and we're going to give a uh, the appropriate cover. And I'm just going to go back out and come back in. And you can see the artwork is applied. And that is it for the artwork and so far everything, well I'm happy with everything how it looks. So what we can do now is close it and go into gaming mode. 
Okay, so now we're in gaming mode and as you can see we've got this nice artwork of Super Mario 64 cover here. So as for the banner, you're probably thinking why is Wario and Luigi here? Well that's because in the Render 96 version they are playable characters. <laughs> okay, so by default there's already some textures and models already changed as you can probably tell by the trees and Mario. Click on start, then Z for Dyn OS, which is basically L2, and you'd be seeing this option here. Go to the bottom where it says model packs, and the first option is Chaos Releasio, which is Toad, and it has all of Mario's moves. And then we've got Render 96 3.2, this is the latest version. So enable that, and as you can see, the model for Mario changes as well as the trees. Another cool feature of Render 96 is the DinoS menu, we can warp to any level, so click on warp to level, and I'm just going to leave it on Bob on Battlefield, and go to the third star, then click on warp. And just like that you can go to any level. So I want to show you another cool option, so this time if you click on start, but this time tap on R2, we're going to come to this menu here, go to display, we can disable the HUD and the draw distance. So if I max that out, you will see what happens here. So now I've unpaused and now you can see everything in the distance, all those uh, coins in the sky as well. So yeah, draw distance maxed out, you can see everything far into the distance. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, the game does take some while to start up. To fix that, we're going to click on start, then the R menu, click on game, go down to precast textures, disable that, and the game will load up pretty much instantly. As for the warping, you can also warp just in front of the painting, so I'm going to go to the second level. The portrait here looks so good, I have to say the work the Render 96 team have done is amazing. Okay, so we're just coming near to the end of the video, and I'm just going to cut the clip here right to the end of the uh, Bowser level. So I'm going to press the steam button and as I mentioned earlier this is where the logo now shows and it looks very good and on the left hand side you can see the Super Mario 64 icon as well. And lastly we'll just take a quick look at Bowser. And here is the model for Bowser. So remember this is what the official artwork looked like when they first revealed Super Mario 64 back in 1996. Now I'm just going to change the model again and let's see what this looks like. That is kind of uh, weird looking, I'm not sure exactly which game that came from. But obviously we've got the uh, latest version, the official art style. So yeah, uh, let me see if I can actually kill him in this first go. So long, eh, Bowser? And there you have it, I've just done it. So anyway, um, that pretty much does it for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos.
please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram and like always. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.